So, there is some strange news coming out of the poker world today. Apparently, the No Limit Poker Game action is drying up. All the suckers went broke, and the so-called professionals are now heading to greener pastures. They are leaving the green felt jungles of Las Vegas for the paper-pushing gambling world of Wall Street. So we have Annie Duke, and she is now helping out insurance companies and, you know, the fake money paper pushers on Wall Street. Here we have Annie Duke saying how to avoid reacting emotionally when you lose your money on in Wall Street. Well, Annie Duke is the perfect person to teach people how to react after you've been cheating because Annie Duke, of course, was involved with the Ultimate Bet gambling site. And I'm not saying she had anything to do with the cheating. I'm, I'm just saying she was involved with Ultimate Bet. And Ultimate Bet went down as one of the corrupt poker gambling sites that got caught cheating poker players. I'm not going to tell you how that story went, but it ended ugly. So like I said, a poker player who was involved in a crooked gambling site online is now her guidance is needed at an insurance company. I mean, I guess this is just perfect. In, in the world we live in, this corrupt paper pushing matrix we live in, I mean, this is just perfect. I mean, creating fake money out of thin air seems to be all the rage today. I mean, everybody is drunk on power, corruption, and control. Matter of fact, in today's fake money world of paper pushing that we call crony capitalism, the most sought-after character trait is cheating and stealing. I mean, after all, isn't that what the Fed does? When the Fed prints a trillion dollars out of thin air and they give it to their New York banker friends, who went broke. I mean, isn't that what crony capitalism is all about? Looking for people. Looking, again, for the personality trait that is most coveted in this crony capitalistic society that we live in is someone who doesn't mind being associated with thieves, crooks, and cheaters. So, this is just beautiful. In my mind, this is beautiful. You've got a girl who was involved with, uh, you know, Ultimate Bet and Russ, Russ Hamilton and his all his other uh, co-conspirators. They cheated all the other immature, naive poker players. And they these guys fit perfect in Wall Street. Well, just another day on the poker table where the winners laugh and the losers mumble. And if, you, if you're like Donald Trump and Annie Duke, you will do anything to win. Okay. And also, I, I guess I might want to talk about all those Montana frat boys who were involved in Ultimate Bet. Yeah, you probably maybe don't know. There's a bunch of Montana frat boys who got, you know, helped got Ultimate Bet up and running. Uh, one of them did go to prison. Most of them got off with a slap on the hand. But guess where they're at right now? Okay. They are firmly established in hedge funds money funds, insurance firms, fake paper money pushers, Wall Street. Yes, not only is Annie Duke in the insurance Wall Street world, all the frat boys who helped form Ultimate Bet, all these cheaters, crooks, and liars, they're all now on Wall Street pushing fake money. I swear to God, you cannot make this shit up. We're talking about the corrupt, paper-pushing matrix we live in. I mean, if it wasn't so funny, I would probably be crying right now. Well, I'll leave you with this. I guess there's only one thing left to do in the pro poker world, and that's to nominate Annie Duke for the Poker Hall of Fame. <laughs> Okay, I can't, I can't take it anymore. We are witnessing history in America today. Unprecedented events taking place in our lost republic. And no, I am not talking about a J.P. Morgan, Wall Street scumbag, pleading guilty to manipulating gold and silver, because that has been going on for some time now. Standard operating procedure in crony capitalism. And my fo focus today 
will not be on Miss Nevada, Katie Jo Williams, because she was banned from entering the Miss America pageant because of her support for Donald Trump. But I do believe this could be a first. This is a, the first time that American has been banned from entering a contest for supporting a sitting president. Surely unprecedented. But my subject today is not about those things. My subject today is about fake money. We are talking about historical money changers' demise is at hand. This is unprecedented. The first time the almighty Fed has cut rates when the stock market is near the top. Okay? This is where we're at in the stock market. Right there. End of July, over 20,000, near 27,000, near the top, and yet the Fed is cutting interest rates. This proves, without a doubt, that not only does the Fed protect the New York City boys, and banks. But the Fed is now protecting Europe and other parts of the world while throwing good conservative Americans with pensions, throwing them under the bus. Okay? The Fed and the billionaires are going to crush all pensions to protect the New York banks and to protect Europe the European banks, the European Union, other parts of the world, they are literally going to destroy all the pensions. As I said, we are near the top of the stock market. This is unprecedented. Never has the Fed, the money changers, cut rates when we were near the top. This proves, without a doubt, that something is going wrong behind the curtains. They are scared to death. I believe this is when the fun begins. We are looking at historical times when the money changer's demise is at hand. Yes, we are watching history. So grab your popcorn and sit back and wait for the dollar to basically, first it'll go up. As the Europeans and the Asians and everybody send their currency to America, the dollar will go up. And then it will come colliding down. It will come crashing down like a waterfall. And it will literally not be worth a warm bucket of spit. <laughs> and like I said, that's when the fun begins.